Perkins out of the shotgun. He'll take the snap. It's the action that starts almost every play in football. That action is the snap. Most are handled by the center, but a select few are handled by a specialist. When I was growing up, my dad always told me, if you want to play football in college, or, you know, for a long time, learn how to long snap, and I, you know, kind of took that for what it was, and it always just stuck in the back of my head a little bit. And as I kind of went through it and saw the truth of that statement, I was like, hey, you know, I've been, I've been messing around with this here and there. Might as well like take it a little bit seriously and see how far I can go. It began in Boston, where a young Joe Spaziani, Virginia football's long snapper, would beg his father to go to work with him. And that meant an early start, very early. So any chance that I saw to go in, I was begging him to go in. And if there, if there was any traffic, that drive turned into you know two hours pretty quickly. So leaving early was very important. And uh, so that was always the kind of condition if I wanted to go in. It was got to get up early, got to be ready to go. And that habit has endured as Spaz, as everyone calls him, is always the first to the McHugh Center every morning. Spaz, he wakes up about 4 a.m. He gets to the McHugh Center. I think the first thing he does is he takes a jog around campus. Probably gets back at 4.30. Then he's reading books, watching film, breaking that down uh, until team meeting, uh, which starts at 6.30 a.m. But Spaz is always the first one in there, front and center. And I'd say he walks into the team meeting room probably about 30 minutes early, so at 6 a.m. Joe was a high school quarterback with interest from low-level D1 schools until a broken leg derailed those plans. That's when Virginia entered the picture. Frank Spaziani, Joe's dad, had been an assistant at UVA under George Welsh. Joe entered Virginia as a preferred walk-on, a quarterback. I was in the quarterback meetings just soaking up knowledge. And for the first couple years, I kind of didn't really know how I was going to be able to add value to the team. And then once I realized quarterback wasn't going to be a position where I was going to be adding value, I kind of really focused on snapping and saw that as a spot that possibly could lead to playing time or at least traveling. And it all kind of worked out from a playing perspective. But otherwise, I just wanted to help the team any way I could. He's a jack of all trades. He's always um, working on anything that could possibly not just improve his position on the team, but help the team. Spaz is the type of guy, he doesn't want the limelight to him, he wants to um, help our team achieve our goals. When I was younger, I, I got pointers from some of the guys on the sideline when I was you know, hanging out at practice with my dad, but when I got, when I really started to take it seriously, it was just kind of trial and error and finding out what works for me and watching film and yeah, like you said, pulling up film on YouTube before I could get it from, you know, through Luke and his guys, pulling up highlights or these snapping combines and watching how those guys are doing it and just trying to emulate them. As Spaz has mastered his craft, he's also learned what it takes to perform when a field goal attempt or punt snap into the end zone could change the outcome of a game. The hardest part of snapping is definitely just the mindset that comes with it. Um, once you kind of have the technique down and you know exactly what you're doing, it's being consistent and being repeatable with it and that's just, to me, is just mindset and uh, being confident with it and confidence is one thing all kickers need in their snappers. If you want to be a great punter or a great kicker, get a great long snapper. Um, and that's been very true for me. Uh, Spaz is the backbone of you know, the punt team and the whole operation uh, because it really starts with the snap. And the better the snap, and, and you're right, if, if Spaz can send uh, a punt snap back and the laces are up, that makes my op time that much quicker and that makes us that much better. Um, so you really can't downplay the importance of a long snapper. So as Joe looks back on his career at Virginia, he is also looking ahead to the next phase of his life. CFL, NFL, hopefully uh, this, at the end of this year turns out all right and see how these last couple games go for myself and for the team. And my goal is to yeah, train, for, train like I'm going to be playing in the next level and it's about all I can ask for is just an opportunity somewhere. You really can't say enough good things about him because he is always working, always trying to get better. And, you know, none of his work uh, brings glory to himself. It just brings glory to the team. And that is so admirable.